Praise God. Amen. Amen. No weapon that form against me shall prosper. Come on, we can do better than that. Listen, I don't want nobody quiet this convention. It's convention. Amen. We want to worship the Lord. No weapon that form against me shall what? Prosper. Shall not prosper. Amen. We are fighting the good fight of faith. And if you know what we have been through, the storms this week just to get here tonight. Because I know something good is going to happen. Something good is in store. We are together again. Just praising the Lord. Amen. Amen. So we are going to stand and we're going to do praise and worship and we're going to stand tonight. Um, the preacher is ready with the word. and We're going to do as the Lord leads tonight. Amen. 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 Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days all the days of my life. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days, all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I shall feast at the table spread for me. Surely goodness and mercy shall
Hallelujah. Glory be to God and high. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days, all the days of my life. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Can we all just bow our heads in prayer? Our God and our Heavenly Father, we thank you for tonight, God. We thank you for your blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Can we put our hands together and give God glory? Come on, everybody. Can we worship him tonight? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 There is only one day. There is only one name with power to save, with power to save. Come on. There is only one name.
and he will bow down. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ, you are Lord. Yes, every knee will bow down. Every tongue will confess.
Come on, put your hands together and worship Him. Come on, let's open our mouths and give God glory. Hallelujah. He touched us one day. That's why we're here tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. The theme for this year is a call to serve. Turn to somebody and tell us that you are called to serve. A lot of people love to get, 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 but nobody wants to serve. So you are called to serve. Amen. In one of those songs that I choose for this convention, I want to be a worker for the Lord. That's an old time song. We don't even sing those songs no more. But we're going to sing it this two nights and Sunday morning. I want to be a worker for the Lord. I want to love and trust his holy word. I want to sing and pray. And what? Be busy every day in the vineyard of the Lord. Amen. For those who don't know it, you'll catch it. Amen. I want to be a worker for the Lord. I want to love and trust His holy word. Come on, put your hands together. I want to sing and pray and be busy every day in the vineyard of the Lord. Oh, I will work.
tonight, Lord. Hallelujah. We come before you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In your presence, Lord, you are fullness of joy. Hallelujah. In your presence, Lord, there is fullness of joy. Hallelujah. We thank you tonight, Lord. As we come in your house, dear Lord, we just want to thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all that you already done for us, Lord, through the day. Lord, we come before you, Lord, to lift up your name tonight, Lord. Your name, Lord, is above every name. Your name, Lord, is worthy to be praised. So, Lord, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, as I place this evening, oh God, each and every one before you, Lord. The service is before you, Lord. So, Lord, we ask you tonight to have your way, Lord. Let your will be done, dear Lord, in this place. Let your purpose come forth, dear Lord. We ask you this evening, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to touch, touch, Lord, from the pulpit tonight, Lord Jesus. Everyone need a touch from you tonight, Lord. Lord Jesus, we ask you, Lord, for your anointing upon us tonight, Lord. Let your anointing flow, Lord, from the pulpit to the pew. Lord God Almighty, we come here, expect to hear a word tonight, Lord. So we ask you, Lord God, to let your purpose and your will go forth, Lord. It is all about you, Lord Jesus. Touch tonight, Lord, every, everyone in the audience, Lord. Father God, we ask you to heal tonight, Lord. We ask you to deliver tonight, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to let your anointing be upon us tonight, Lord. As we come before you, Lord, we need more of you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus, every minute. We need you, Lord Jesus, every hour. Lord God, we cannot make it at our own, Lord. So as we look tonight unto you, Jesus... We ask you to have your way. Touch the speaker today, tonight, Lord. Touch the moderator tonight, Lord. And everything that are about to be done, God, let it be. Oh, God, done on your purpose, dear Lord. In your own way, Lord God Almighty. So we ask you to have your way tonight, Lord. As we tell you thanks for what you are about to do. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. Amen. We adore you Thank tonight, you, Lord. For it is all about you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It is all about you, thank Lord. You, Lord. Hallelujah. So we lift up your name, Lord. Praise and we God. thank you, Lord. Let Amen. praise go to you tonight, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, put your hands together and worship the Lord. Worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. Amen. Turn to somebody and say, start worship. My God. Amen. Something good is going to happen. Something good is in store. My God. Amen. I feel the presence of Almighty God in this place. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Whatever you need from him tonight, he's here. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Madge, for praying the opening prayer at this time. Our scripture reading will be taken from Joshua 1, verse 1 to 18, by Sister Devine Matterdeen. Please stand for the reading of God's holy word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. We'll read alternate verses. Hallelujah. Here begins. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all these people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whatsoever thou goest. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Pass through the host and command the people, saying, Prepare you victuals, for within three days he shall pass over this Jordan to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it. Remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, saying, The Lord your God had given you rest and had given you this land. until the Lord had given your brethren rest, as he had given you, and they also have possessed the land, which the Lord your God giveth them, then he shall return unto the land of your possession and enjoy it, which Moses the Lord's servant gave you on this side Jordan towards the sun rising. According as we hearkened unto Moses in all things, so will he hearken unto thee. Only the Lord thy God be with thee, and he was with, as he was with Moses. 18 and last. And will not hearken unto thy words in all thou commandest him. He shall be put to death. Only be strong and of a good courage. Amen. Here, here another portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now ever shall be, words without end. Amen. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. Can we lift our hands and worship the Lord? Let us wear praise the Lord. God is good. 
We serve a great, big, wonderful God. Amen? We serve a great, big, wonderful God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are in the presence of Almighty God. And I thank God tonight. I am going to ask my minister friend from True Life to join us up here. Please, ma'am. Amen. I have, a new, I have a friend. We know each other for years. Don't worry. She's not new to me. She's new to you, but not new to me. We know each other for years. Amen. And we, have, we are going to enjoy the presence of the Lord tonight. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. We are glad to be in the presence of almighty God. And tonight I want to welcome each and every one of you that are worshiping with us tonight. We feel good to be alive. Oh, it sounds strange to say that. We feel good to be alive. Right, Sister Michelle? I mean, we, we just lost a nice young lady from our church, 34 years old. And let me tell you, we still get to stand on our grave. Hallelujah. We're still breathing. Amen. Amen. So I want to welcome a few of the visiting church. I'm going to ask one church to give me a selection tonight. So I will ask you as I call your church to please stand with your pastors. Amen. 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 We have Elam in the house, and the pastor is Apostle Dr. Reverend Marcia Pentecost. Elam, please stand. Give them a big hand. Come on, everybody. Clap your hands. Elam is in the house. Amen. Amen. We have Spring Valley in the house as well, and um, their pastor is Brenda, Pastor Brenda Compass. I'm going to ask them to stand. Amen. Elam, give them a big hand. Um, Spring Valley. Okay. All right. We have true life in the house. True life. Eh? New life. Sorry. New life. Too much life for me. New life is in the house. And her, their pastor is Reverend Judith Joseph. Please stand, ma'am. Please stand. Amen. Stand with her who come. Amen. I call her her armor bearer. Because anywhere you see this one, you see her. Amen. Hallelujah. She's a co-pastor. What are you doing down there? Come up here. Amen. Come, my sister. Come, come, come. She's a co-pastor. Give her a big hand, everybody. Come on. Amen. Amen. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, God is a good God. We have United Church of God in the house. Please stand. The pastor is Reverend Forrester. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You may be seated. Amen. And we, we have the guest speaker. I'm going to leave him for later. God, trust me, fire burning up inside of him. Amen. We're going to worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. I'm going to ask Spring Valley to give me a selection tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. The battle may be hot and the conflict so. Don't rock in the road as we travel along. Oh, 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 oh. Don't rock me the road 
may be seated, amen. How could I forget Sister Hibbert from Oroch? He's here worshiping with us. Please stand, Sister Hibbert. Amen. Please stand. Is there anyone else that are visiting with us that I didn't recognize and you're from a different church? Please stand. Tell us your name and what church. Oh, feet, please. That's all right. That's all right. Take your time. I know I caught you off guard. Good news. God bless you, ma'am. God bless you. Give her a big hand. Give her a big hand. Amen. Amen. Is there anyone else that I didn't mention? Amen. And you're here visiting. Please stand and tell us your name. All right. Amen. Pastors, I know when you get mic, you go off, but come and greet the congregation. Let us praise the Lord, everybody. Let us praise the Lord, everybody. Touch your neighbor and say, remember, you're called to serve. You're called to go through. You're called to push through. You're called and anointed for God's heavenly purpose. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. I can see we're going to have a good time tonight. Praise the Lord. Greetings from New Life Church of God, Mount Vernon. Greetings to Reverend Forrester. Praise the Lord. Like she said, I've known her a long time. <laughs> but <laughs> praise the Lord. We're all brethren in Christ. Praise the Lord. We are called to serve. And when I heard the topic, I said, I, I, I was looking at Philippians chapter 2, where it says, uh, uh, let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, praise the Lord, who thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but humbled himself and made himself a servant even unto, and was obedient even unto death. I just pray that all of us, praise the Lord, will do whatever we can, whatever we can, and as much as we can for the Lord. God bless you today. Praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. We bless the Lord. We glorify his name. We honor him. Hallelujah. We lift him up. Hallelujah. Because he is worthy, worthy to be praised. Praise God. Greetings to our host pastor, Reverend Forrester, and all the ministers, and all the wonderful saints in the mighty and precious name of Jesus. Truly, it is a blessing to be here again, to hold up each other's hand. You know, we are called to serve. Praise God. We are God's hand extended through whether it's working, helping the sick, the needy, the poor, but most of all, finding ourselves at the feet of Jesus, praying and reading so that he can instruct us on what we ought to do, how we can help and continue to build the kingdom. So this is why we're here tonight, to encourage each other and to remind one another that we are called to serve, not for others to serve us, but if we serve others they will in turn serve us and we will serve one another and please our God. So may God bless us as we hear the word tonight, as we continue to lift up each other because I know that God is in this place. I felt his presence from the moment I walked in. Praise the name of the Lord and I give him thanks that we can come and fellowship together. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we bless the Lord? Let us glorify the Lord. Why don't you give him the highest praise? Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. It's all about him, right? It's all about him. Let me greet my pastor, Reverend Forrester, the rest of ministers, uh, the praise and worship team, uh, my, 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 my family. <laughs> my family. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, Bishop Gibbs, um, um, we, go, we go up together. Amen. Uh, it's so good to, to see you. And, and I greet my brothers and sisters in the wonderful name of our blessed Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is good to be a Christian. I am glad that I am a Christian. I am happy that I am a Christian. And my desire and determination is to serve the Lord with gladness. Amen. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. At this time, Spring Valley, please come with your selection, followed by Sister Raquel Ruddock with her selection. Amen. Give them a hand as they come. Please. 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's good to be in God's house tonight. Amen. It's good to be in his house where we can worship him. And we are called to serve him. So I just want you to know that we must keep on the fire in line. Amen. If you're in the battle for the Lord and right, keep on the fire in line. If you and my brother, surely you must fight. Keep on the fire in line. There are many dangers that we all must face. If we die of fighting, it is no disgrace. Coward in the service, he will find no place. So keep on the fire in line. Oh, yes, you must fight. Be brave against all evil. Never run, nor ever lag behind. Soldier, he can trust. Keep on the fire in line. If you wear a crown, then bear the cross. You must keep on the fire in line. Life is but to labor for the master dear. Help to banish evil and to spread the cheer. Great, you'll be rewarded for your service. Here, so keep on the fire in line. Oh, you must fight. fire in line how we'll praise the savior for the call we had keep on the fire in line when we see those souls that we have come to win leading them to jesus from the paths of sin with a shout of welcome we will our marching so keep on the fire in line oh yes you must fight be brave serve we got to keep on the fiery line no so 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 can't keep on this fiery line we must fight be brave against all evil never run now ever allow behind Reverend Mundell I'm gonna ask you to come to the platform ma'am God bless you she's a pastor Tabernacle Church of God is in the house and the pastor is Reverend Mundell Come on, Henry Mundell. Give her a big hand. Give her a big hand as she come. Give her a big hand as she come. Amen. 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 And I'm going to give her time to settle. And I'm going to give her a chance to greet the church. Amen. Keep on the fiery line. Some of us fire brought, drop out in a long time. Some cold water fall upon it. I'm shh, Lord Jesus. But some of you have gone to ashes. What I learned, I wasn't born in the country, but I learned with wood fire when there's ashes, there's still fire under there. So sometimes you have to stir up the ashes and let the fire fall again. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Fire, fire, fire. Fire fall on me. Fire, fire, fire. Fire fall on me. Yeah. 
to the church. Come, my dear. Give her a big hand as she come, everybody. Give God some praise in the house. Come on, worship the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Just worship him. Come on, give him a shout in the house tonight. Praise God. First, I want to give honor to the Holy Spirit and give greet our, praise God, our pastor, praise God, and the guest speaker and all God ministers on the platform. And each and every one, I want to greet in the mighty name of Jesus. I've been greeting from my husband and the Tabernacle Church family. T tomorrow night, they will be here. Praise God. And, but tonight, I'm here to worship the Lord. Come on, give God some praise in the house. Praise God. It is so good to be in the house of the Lord. That's worshiping with God's wonderful people. It gives me that great feeling. Come on, worship the Lord. It's convention time where we come in the house to fellowship and to worship the Lord. We are servant of the Most High God. Come on, give God some praise in the house. Stand on your feet and worship the Lord. Come on, worship the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus is in this house. The blood of Jesus is in this house. We have the victory. We have the victory. We have the victory because Jesus is here tonight. God bless you in Jesus' name. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord another time? Tonight as I was
tonight as I was going through the song for the selection, our theme for the year is a call to serve. And Sister Rose was talking to me and she said, this day and age, I don't want to be an ordinary servant. And I agree with Sister Rose 100%. I want to serve the Lord and I want to be more than ordinary because ordinary won't do. I want to be more than an ordinary servant. I want to be more. I want to be more than an ordinary servant. I want to be more. It's not my will, Lord, but thine be done. In my knees, Lord, you're the only one. Lord, you know my heart and my way. You're still the potter, and I am still the clay. Search my life, see if there be anything wrong that don't belong. Please take it out of me. I want to be more than an ordinary servant. I want to be more. I want to be more than an ordinary servant. I want to be more. Lord Jesus, 99 and a half won't do. Surrendering all is all I need to do. A sacrifice that you won't refuse From a heart that's broken and contrite too Search my life, see if there be Anything wrong that don't belong Please take it out of me I want to be more than an ordinary servant I want to be more Surrendering all is all I need to do. A sacrifice that you won't refuse. From a heart that's broken and contrite to. Search my life, see if there be anything wrong that don't belong. Please take it out of me. I want to be more than an ordinary servant. I want to be more. want to be more than just an ordinary servant. I get news alerts on my phone and on one of the alerts today it said a 12 year old has been missing for four years and they found his body that remains in the attic of a house. Brethren, we are living in perilous time. And let me tell you something. I always say this as we look at somebody and tell us, I'm happy to see you alive. Alive. We don't know what tomorrow may bring for any one of us in here. But I want to be more than just an ordinary servant. Amen. Introduce the speaker. He's no visitor to us here at United, but I'm going to read to you 
the synapse of Bishop Leonard Gibbs, a little biography. Leonard Gibbs was born in the island of Jamaica in parish of St. Anne, the district of Mount Olivet. He attended the Liberty Hill All Age School in Dumbarton, St. Anne. He accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as his personal savior at the early age of 16 years old at the Mount Olivet Baptist Church under the leadership of Reverend Dr. E.G. Allen. As a young man, Leonard became the first youth fellowship president of the above mentioned church where he held the office for four executive years and was then promoted as the youngest officer among the elders. What an honor. He continued to excel in his endeavors. In 1977, he left his district and went to live in Tricy, did I pronounce it right? Tricy District in Brownstown, where he could attain better job opportunities. Due to his relocation, the young brother Gibbs started to fellowship with the Brownstown New Testament Church of God. And in 1978, he fell, met and fell in love. Hallelujah with his beautiful, productive, ambitious wife, Gloria. In 1979, they were joined together in holy matrimony. It has been 44 years ago, and by the grace of God, the best is yet to come. He served in Brownstone New Testament Church of God as youth director, men's fellowship treasurer, Sunday school teacher, FDH, group captain, and local pack preacher under the leadership of Joe Lawrence and other district overseer. As time went by, he was promoted and appointed to pastor the Nib Street New Testament Church of God in Gibraltar by Bishop F.A. Beeson in correlation, correlation with the Island Executive Board. He pastored and served in that assignment for 10 years. After that, he was transferred to the parish of Portland, where he served as the Hector's River and Long Road New Testament Church of God for three years. In 1996, Bishop Gibbs migrated to the United States and reunited with his wife, who resides in the state of Pennsylvania. Bishop Gibbs continued to support other ministers and churches in the initial stages of his arrival in the U.S., in the year 2000, he planted a new church under the name West End New Testament Church of God in Norristown, a suburb of Philadelphia. Bishop Gibbs is a talented visionary, an anointed leader who purchased a church property and served as a senior pastor for 21 years. Bishop Gibbs is an ordained bishop, a certified marriage officer who has served in the church of God in many capacities. He has also served as state official on the state board of examination for the School of Ministry in Pennsylvania. He was also very proactive in helping other ministers to obtain their church properties by amazing build their, their building fund rallies annually in many different states of America and beyond. It is an honor and a privilege to present to you this choice, Servant of the Lord, Bishop Leonard Gibbs. Please stand, please stand, please stand. <laughs> Father, we thank you for your servant who's coming now to minister your word. I pray that the anointing will fall upon him. Oh God, it's not about the credential in his biography, but it's the anointing that makes a difference. So anoint him right now from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. You have given him the word, and as he come, God, as he stepped to this podium, the anointing is in this place. You have saturated his being with the anointing. Let it give us receptive heart to receive your words. We tell you thanks in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Without further ado, my honor to present to you Bishop Leonard Gates. Thank you very much. You may be seated in the house of God. It's a honor to be here tonight in this great convention. When I received the invitation from January, 
I said, my God, I am honored. Because they have a word in Jamaica that we always use. Wheel and come again. <laughs> You're not from Jamaica, Deacon, so you don't know those words. <laughs> what I mean, I was your guest speaker last year, this same time. And this year again. So I said to myself, it must be something good that happened. Why I'm here. Thank you. And I just want to thank God for the fellowship and the relationship that we share. Amen. I want to thank God for Reverend Forrester. Amen. Could this woman of God could daughter, could you come along and son, could you come along? I did not know that other ministers were noticing what I noticed. When I was about to come out of the car, Bishop Rose, my cousin, said to me that he mentioned something here some times ago. It's very weird to find a minister, children, standing with them. And I, 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 I want you to understand where I am going and what I'm saying. I listen to this woman of God sometimes. You know, I love to listen. You know, and all when you feel that it passed me, don't pass me. Sometimes my wife said to me, Man, you're slow. I said, I don't slow, you know, but <laughs> you know, but what the reason I said this, I came here some times ago, and when I listened, she said to me, in the peak of COVID, when members stay home and she decided to come. Her children said to her, Mom, we are coming with you too. And they stood with their mother, still standing. I sat there and I looked. Every time I come here and look on her daughter, she gets pretty and prettier. I am not leaving you out. You are pretty. And so, may you be seated. Thank you. So, Rev, I want to thank God for you. And thank God for the growth of this church. And not only the growth, thank God for the standard. The standard of this church. Under the leadership of a woman. You don't find it so all the time. I said to my cousin, when I look on this beautiful, I know you was coming, you know. <laughs> Doc, please stand. I know you smell me, you know. And I know you was coming. If nobody else was coming, I know. I know you was coming. And I want to thank God, all these ladies, ministers, please stand for me. Pastors, please stand. Thank God for these ministers. So I said to myself, something good is going to happen here tonight. Because we have praying women in the house. God bless you. I want to greet good thing come to those that wait. My wonderful going to fortune. October coming will be 45 years. Please stand. You, you see, you know, make you come out, make you see how she pretty more. Come on, mommy. Come on, mommy. 
It's too near my collar. Even I, I, I have it as a practice that even if I'm on the restroom, I cannot call her. I don't call her. Sister Gibbs, you know. Mummy or Angie. Her name is Gloria Gibbs. So come, come here, Angie. Is she pretty? 45 years. Come here, Brother MacLeod. Brother MacLeod. Please come here. Brother Mac. You heard it mentioned that I pastored the Nip Street Church for 10 years. Gibraltar. That is where he's from. And his wife. Listen to me. This man, before I know my wife, I did not marry to my wife yet. She was one of them out of the group that helped to preach out the church that I passed after. And this man, this man, but when we came out that Sunday evening and sat on that architump and the banking, and the voice start to sing. I don't know what happened. My sister, I don't know if she's, she's here. But all I know, I was going on rejoicing. Red dirt all over. Red dirt. Because you see, you see. As, thank you, Sister Gibbs. You see, listen to me. We, you that come up now, you are blessed. Because you are padded pew. We restarted from the church that I started and preached for 10 years. Red, a red dirt, bag of sport, whole conveyor belt, whole zinc, and whole cedar. And when they sit, we have to put black or stone to make the seat. But God Almighty, you could see. Oh, God, 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 God. Did you hear what I'm saying to you? Oh, God. Sister Deacon, you could feel God. That's why I'm saying no, no padded pro. America cannot change me. Preach and the clothes dry on, dry back on on us. And we go back and preach again. I remember my God Almighty one day. I preach, and when I preach it this week, stir. And nobody could give me food. I have to go down to the pool and change my clothes and eat civil orange and stay for the night and come back and preach again. America cannot change me. Be there, done that. So I bless God for my wife. Stood with me, man. Through thin and thick. And every now and then I cry. And I said to myself, coming from nowhere, as a trained teacher, coming, those of you that know about the Pastel Garden Teachers College. That was where she trained. And as a whole district boy going to the Brownstone Church. But God turned things around Amen. to see a whole boy let me marry to a, a teacher. And she turned me around, turned my life around. I long on. And thank God. So nothing did for me. From Gloria Gibbs. She is the love of my life. So I want to.
thank God tonight for all these ministers and the officers that planned this revival. Thank God for the officers of this church. It stood with the pastor. Respect and the membership. I want to give honor to my bishop, Reverend David Barrett. And his wife. And the brethren, the officers and members from the El Elyon Church of the Most High God in Philadelphia. Where I attend. And thank God. As long as I'm around, you'll soon be there. You will be there. You will be there. So I thank God tonight. Thank God tonight. Can you just stand on your feet? My wife always says, only your feet you can stand on. <laughs> Praise God. And turn around to your neighbor and say, neighbor. Glad that I'm here. What a great turn you know tonight. Great turn you know tonight. The first night. Aye! Mm, it's a hard road to travel. And a mighty long way to go. But Jesus, the blessed Savior. Lead me all the way I go. In the Alone of Valley, near the baby deep water slow. It's a hard road to travel, and a mighty long way to go. Oh, it's a hard road to travel, and a mighty long way to go. Hallelujah, Jesus, the blessed Savior, is going to lead me all the way I go. Oh, it's, it's a hard, hard road to travel And a mighty long way to go It's a hard road to travel And, and a mighty, mighty long way, way to go But Jesus, the blessed Savior God, I lead you out the way I go Many a lonesome valley Many deep waters flow Can you bring me all the way I go? There are many a lope, some valleys, many deep waters flow. It's a hard road to travel, and a mighty long way to go. Yeah, a hard road to travel. Give it up, and it's a mighty long way to go. Hallelujah, Jesus, the blessed Savior, He will lead you all the way.
worship. Everybody worship. Worship, worship, worship. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Glory. Glory. Can you just walk? Can you just walk? Can you just walk? Change your position. Change your position. Change your position. Everybody, change your position. Walk up and down. Walk up and down. Walk up and down and worship, man. Worship. Be all I live. Be all I live. Be all I live. Oh, Shabi Akosatala Bahandai. Ila Babakosataya Bahaya. Glory! Ah, Shabienda! Sakriya Baba Kosataya! Glory! Glory, glory, glory! Hallelujah! 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 Hey! Yes, 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 yes! He's here, he's here, he's here! He's here! He's here! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hey! Hey! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! He's here! He's here! He's here! He's here! Glory! Worship! Worship, man! Worship! 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 Woo! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory! Glory! Hallelujah! Glory! Ah, God Almighty! Oh, Shama Mama Handia Kosataya Sakriya Baba Katai Ula Baka Satala Mahandia Rababa Kosatori Shandia Shanda Koto Lakataya Baka Satai Hila Mandia Kosanda Hila Bako Sataya Bako Shanda Oh, Shama Shabosa Shabosa, 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 Yes, 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 yes. Glory. Mighty God, mighty God. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> oh, God. Have your own way. Have your own way. Have your own way. Yes. God of heaven. God of heaven. Hey. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Woo! My God. Glory. Glory. Shababakosa. <laughs> Glory. 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 This thing. Rev, this thing is well seasoned, man. Listen to me. Listen to me. Sister Gibbs, my dear wife, is a great cook. Sister Gibbs is a great cook. And when Sister Gibbs is cooking meat, right, she seasons the meat. If you're going to cook Pork, any kind of meat. 
to do it from Thursday for Sunday. So when she put it in that dust pot, come on, man. Jesus. And when you walk, we have to shut the room door that our clothes not smell when we go to church. Because everything, God Almighty, what I am saying here, this convention, God Almighty, you don't hear me. This convention, can you stand on your feet, man? He sees you, sees you, man. Season. So tonight, all of us, because it is season, all of us, some of, of the meat, yeah, the flavor, the flavor. So many of it. I am in Pennsylvania and I, I catch it. But I am pregnant with the word tonight. Let's go to the word. The word of God is taken from. I have two passages of scripture to read. And the first passage of scripture is taken from 2 Corinthians 10 and verse 4. 2 Corinthians 10 and verse 4. And one verse there. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for the pulling down of strongholds. And the other scripture Ephesians 6 and verse 10 to 12. Ephesians 6, 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Verse 12, and we stop here. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. And the subject tonight are the prisoners. I know you have a team called to serve. But I'm pregnant with this from over three months now. I got this. And the topic tonight is it is more than this. It is more than this. Can I talk to you now? No, listen to me. We are going through some stuff, you know. And Rev, doctor, ministers, bishops, leaders, I have never in the age of the church, come up on anything like what we are coming up on now. Bishop Rose, some dangerous things, you know, is happening, you know. Deadly things. And sometimes when these things come upon us, we want to wonder, where is God? Can you talk to me tonight? Where is God? Why all of these things? Yes, Sister Rose, come in. <laughs> yes, thank you. She was my driver. She dropped me off and then go back to take care of something. And thank God. 
I just start this the road so you don't mix out anything. So we have to wonder where is God? You could kneel to God, the bosom of God, and some things is still happening to you. Even if God in your breast pocket, God Almighty, some things that is facing us as ministers, leaders, members, Christian, the church. If it's not one thing, hallelujah, it's another. But under God we come tonight in the name of Jesus to let the devil know that we are not stopping. Ah, because like a mighty army, come on, move the church of God. Hallelujah. And it is not by might, nor by power. Oh God Almighty, not by his power, but it's by the Spirit of Almighty God. Because we have already won the race. The victory belongs to us. Hallelujah. And because the victory I belongs to us, no demons from hell can stop the church. Like a mighty army. What Paul said here. Paul the apostle, the great evangelist, came upon some things, you know. Shipwreck, forsaken by his own countrymen. Call him all kind of names. Fought against the beast of Ephesus. Hi, but Paul still stand his ground. Paul came up with forces from every angle, right, left, and center. The Corinthians church, amen, they slander him. Talk to me, man. The same church that Paul preached out, organized. Amen, preacher rose. Then tear him up. Oh, God Almighty. Hey, they put him to disgrace. They scandal him. They call him all kind of name. But Paul, the apostle, amen, still stand out. Because he was founded upon the rock. are merely weak humans. But we do not need to use human plan and methods to win our battle. I, I feel like I want to preach this thing here tonight in the mind. We like Paul. Hallelujah. Been there, done that. Uh, been through it. And, and to Rose, we're still going through it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we cannot lay aside now. Hallelujah. And say, this is over. No. Because what? Hallelujah. We serve. Because we serve a great, big, wonderful God. Always victorious and always watching over us. We have a God that can be touched Woo! with the feelings of our infirmity. We are a God that said, God, your tears upon me. than this. I don't 
know what you're going through, you know. But I'm pregnant with this word, man. We are going down. There are many of us we are hey, undergoing some buckles. Talk to me, no man. We are going through some buckles. Hallelujah. Amen. Fiery darts. Come on, man. Jesus Christ. Holy and mighty God can help us. But I hear somebody said, I, for the weapon of my warfare, it is not carnal, but it mighty. Woo! Yeah. To the pulling down. Man, God is our strength and our refuge. Who shall I fear, man? The Lord is our shepherd. Let me preach this word. In the name of Jesus. God bring you here. Tonight. To hear this word. It is more than this. Listen. God's mighty weapons. Are available to us. As we fight against Satan's strongholds. Reverend Farista, hallelujah. You don't, you might not understand. Only God keeping you here. Come on. God, listen to me, man. Did you hear what I say? Hey, Amen, my sister pastor. Only God keeping you here for you to come here. This 18th night of the fourth month of the year. Hey, you're treading upon lions. Can I preach here tonight, man? You're treading upon demons. You're treading upon devils. Hallelujah. You're treading upon witchcraft. And all kind of scientists. But under God, the weapon. Somebody said, uh, we have an anchor that keep my soul steadfast and sure while the pillars roll fast and to the rock of God Almighty. Uh, hi, hi, hi. With the Savior's love grounded. Should go a long time. But God, turn around to your neighbor and say, Neighbor, but God. Shabba Baba Sometimes I don't know, preachers, how I make it. Ah, but when I look back, I have to say, but God. Let me preach. So I said, your God's mighty weapons are available. You don't have to put your hand in blood. God Almighty, let me preach, man. You don't have to sprinkle nothing. That's why I love these women, you know. These praying women. We don't have no man pastor. Only me and you in the house. All the pastors are women. But my God Almighty, let me tell me. Let me say something to you. You cannot uh, make trouble a praying person. A person that can pray is a dangerous. Ah, pull him down. Can you just stand with me? Stand with me. Come on, put up. 
up your hand, put up your hand. Every person, every person. Hey, pulling down strangles. Pulling down strangles. It is finished. It is finished. It is finished. It's finished with. I pull it down. I trample it. I trample it. I bruise it. Woo! You may be seated. The Christian, the Christian must choose whose methods to use. Gods are the world. Come on, man. You cannot serve two master. It doesn't matter what you're going through. If God for God, serve him. God Almighty, the Bible said, uh, you shall bruise uh, hey, uh, the head of the serpent. No demon can stop me and my wife. No demon can stop me and my family. Let me say something here tonight. Hallelujah. I don't believe in generational curse. I want you to hear it. Somebody preaching. Somebody preaching with me. Somebody preaching with me. Oh, I don't believe in generational curse. If your mother was a prostitute, you don't have to be a prostitute. If your father was a drug pusher, you don't have to be a drug pusher. No! The blood of Jesus runs on me. Oh, he paid the price and he set me free. Anywhere I go, I want the world to know that the blood the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, hallelujah, what can wash away my sin, nothing but the blood of Jesus, what can make me all again, nothing, saying I don't know what happened to me I can't make it check yourself because the Bible said sister Rose and sister Gitz and pastor the Bible said no good thing we leave it all from them that walk uprightly uh, nothing uh, God Almighty can stop you uh, that's why I don't deal with luck. <laughs> MacLeod, you know me long time. You know me from this street. As my past member, I, I baptize her in the church. You know me. I don't believe in luck. Hallelujah. I am blessed every day of my life. I am this, oh God Almighty, deacon, when I wake up in the morning and I lay my head to rest, I am blessed, I am blessed every day.
Me no boy that trouble you. Let me talk to the church. Because they will say, my God, me I'm going to talk to you alone. Because me no one say you pass this. So me no boy that trouble you. Let me talk to the church. Hallelujah. Come on, man. Come on. Sister Deacon. Come here, Sister Deacon. I love you, man. Hey, come here, Sister Deacon. When things don't work out, you must turn your rule. Turn your rule. Aye. Turn your rule, man. Ah, God Almighty. Get up out of your bed. Get up out of your bed. And turn your rule. Cut loose. Cut loose. Walk up and down. From bedroom to bathroom. From bathroom to basement. Turn your rule. In the name of Jesus. Woo! God Almighty, listen to me. I feel God in this place. I worry for God in us. I worry for God. I feel God, man. Can't get through your life. Now tell me that. Get up and turn your roll, man. Some of you sleep too sound. Leave the phone. Come off of Facebook. Come off of WhatsApp. And turn your roll. He will deacon. They cut they, 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 they cut Sinor. Sinor. Leave him in the bed. I'm gonna turn the roll. Amen. Let the church say, preach, preacher. So I said here, the church, the Christian, must choose who methods to use. church. Pastor, listen. You know what is going on now in Christendom? You know, the devil is using the church to fight the church, you know. And some of us don't know. If your ministry is effective more than her, Jesus Christ and mighty God, man, there will be a fight and nobody know what come here, so because for your church out there, so nobody don't want to come support you. Spiritual wickedness. And let, let me say something. And some of you don't know what this woman got to to bring the church up to the. You don't know what this pastor went to to keep the church alive. Fasting and prayer. Using different methods to keep the church alive. I am preaching tonight and it is more than this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time for the church to stop from fight. Hey. And, uh, listen to me. And I am going to sound this. I am not from the state. I am from the state of Pennsylvania. But I come around all the time. And I notice when it comes down to New York. Hey, God Almighty. There are so many churches in New York surrounding and fighting against each other. You are having convention. I plan the same day. Because I don't want your sheep to come to my convention. I curse that kind of spirit. In the name of the Lord God Almighty. Hey, yeah. Let me just cut you and come. Because I, it might be the last time I come here. So, so let me just mix up everything and go. And go home. Let me just mix it up. I, let me just do what me have to do and come out of this place. Because I might be the last time I come back here. 
a time for the cleaning up stronghold in the church man the church of Jesus Christ we must come together and pull down the strongholds Paul's assure us that God's mighty weapon what is God's mighty weapon prayer faith hope love and God's word and the Holy Spirit are powerful and effective You know what I came up with, Reverend Rose, these last days, and I'm telling everybody, love God, love people, and live good. Yeah. Doctor, doctor, even if people don't love you, love God, and love people, and serve God, and move on. Don't look back. Let me say something to you. I was passing through some dilemma four years ago. Fear, dangerous to be. But my wife sat me down as a bishop. And my wife said to me, Lord, I know it is hitting. But let it go and watch God and move on. Yeah. Sister Rose, it was very hard. But I listen to her. And it works enough. When I see some of the same people them who try to bring you down and to mash up your ministry, I have to come back around you and you have to be some help to them. Jesus Christ and mighty God. Did you hear me? I feel like I'm preaching this word tonight. Can I preach it? Can I preach if I want to preach? Can I preach if I want to preach? Oh, God Almighty, because people are people, you know. People will change on you. You will take off your suit. Your yellow blows and give to them. And then carry up strongholds. Strongholds. Love God. Pray, man. Hallelujah. And when you pray, the rest leave to God. Yes, Hallelujah. And when you pray and leave to God. Hallelujah. The same people then that come against this weapon against you. They wonder how you survive. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. They wonder. Because they have already know what they do. They know what they did to you. Come on, they know what they did to you. So when they see you spring up. A Christian, listen. Hey, Sister Rose. A Christian, he's like on your own. Sister gives us some flowers. Let me call my wife's name. And she don't want me when it comes on to plant. To go into the, no, to go into the garden. Because when I look on the top, they are all dry up. So when me go now, we go pull up, me pull up everything and throw away. So when she come home now, me not, I am in trouble. Because they dry on the top. But when you go on the bottom, my God. Root, the life is there, man. On the way, thing for the sunshine. And a little rain. So when some people see how you spring back. Bounce back. Come on man. Come on. Hey, hey. Lord Jesus Christ help me. Don't Christian. Don't do nobody no, no bad. Don't do anybody to anybody man. Because there are things that bounce back you know. Bounce back. Hey. 
I don't know who I'm talking to, but there's a bunk spot, man. Hallelujah! Listen. These weapons can break down the proud human argument against God. And the walls that Satan builds to keep people from finding God. I'm, I just talk about pride and fear. It can bring down the walls of Satan's devices. I remember when I transferred. From Nip Street to Portland. Just give me the Portland piece here, you know, so I can talk. Listen to me. When I got transferred from Senton, 178, 79 miles to go to the east, don't know where I'm going. Some of my relatives look at me and said, Lord, Brother Leonard, we're not, we're not going to see you again. Because there was three parishes that people are afraid of, you know. It's St. Mary, Portland, and St. Thomas. <laughs> Come on, man. Talk to me, man. Is there any Portland? Is there any St. Thomas? Is there any St. Mary in the house? I'm not St. Mary. I am not troubling your parish. It's a good parish. But the reason why they said that, they know that is wickedness. And when I got transferred from St. Anne to, those, uh, to that parish, they say, yes, you're finished now. You're not coming back. Oh, God Almighty. But I stayed here. I, oh, God Almighty. I don't know if Sister Gibbs, uh, if I ever tell Sister Gibbs this. But I remember, I believe Sister Gibbs was in the state. I remember one night as a new Preacher on the block. New kid on the block. I went down the, I went there. And that Sunday night, that Sunday night service, I preach, I preach, I preach. The night, oh God Almighty, demons almost take my life. The guys them that used to stop with me to keep my company at the house. They did not turn up, they go to their own family house. And I taught some things, you know, that night, you know, Jesus Christ, man. I taught some things. And that house where I was living is a house that on four blocks, you know. So, color, yes. So, underneath the bottom is empty. Listen to me, church. It's the longest night I ever experienced in my life. I have to, I alone in the two bedroom house, you know. I have to get up, man. Can I say yes? I know you. Because I trouble you. But, and you come now to torment me. But I am here. And see me here, pulling down strong old man. Come on, come on, man. You must pull down wickedness. Oh, no fear for demons, man. Can I talk to her? Uh, can I talk to a uh, United Church? It is more than this, man. It is the power of God, man. Hey, righteousness uh, and peace and joy. Uh, in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is more than just talk. It is the Holy Ghost. Buckle up. Deliverance is coming. Listen. In the Christian life. 
we battle against rulers and authority. The powerful evil forces of fallen angel and people headed by Satan who is a vicious Jesus Christ fighter. Hear what 1 Peter 5 and verse 8 said. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because the devil. He never said the devil is a lion. You know. He's like. Come on now. Follow me. Follow me. Be vigilant. Be wise. And I'm preaching this. For the devil is like a roaring lion seeking. You watch now. I'm going to touch some. Uh, I'm, uh, I feel led. I'm going to touch some corners now. The devil will mash up your relationship. The devil will mash up your house. I know you cook good, you cook, give me good. Right? But if you know, if you know, watch the devil, the devil mash you up. Don't quiet on me now. Don't quiet. The devil will mash up your relationship. Turn your children into two fingers. Turn your marriage upside down. Jesus Christ and mighty God, can I talk this tonight? Can I preach this in the house tonight? Can I preach this in the house? Let me say something to you. Hallelujah. You think to marry for 45 years. You think it's a boy. I do want to preach. I worry for God. I me have to keep my body under subjection. The Bible said, I beseech you therefore. Jesus Christ, why you go there? Why you go there, so? Why you go there, so? Why you go there, so? By the mercy of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world, but be renewed by the renewing of your mind. Margaret, you respect. Want to mash up your ministry? Yes, sir. Yes. Want to turn the church against you? Yes, sir. But because of your sanctity and your purity and your uprightness. Listen. I'm like a whole, I'm a whole old school preacher, you know. I'm a old school preacher. Hard oh, God Almighty, when you take up, how you call it, when you take up water and chop and fall, and the water run off and they fall back because you know nothing you can tell. So when the devil come and want to throw a rock stone for you, because you're sanctified, you're slippery. Slippery. Can't, can't stay. Because you're shattered. So the devil is a vicious person. Want to mash up the church? Listen. To withstand. I don't think I can finish this tonight. I don't think I can finish this. To withstand their attacks. We must depend on God's strength. And use every piece of his armor. Go oh, a mechanic shop. They are different tools for different bowl. Five eighths, three eighths, half inch, different spanner, 
Am I talking to you? <laughs> so when the devil come in, man, I cannot finish this thing tonight. So when the devil come, you must know what kind of food. <laughs> Paul is not only giving counsel to the church, the body of Christ, but to all individuals within the church. The old body to be harmed. As God buckled against the power of these dark hours. Convention. We are living in dangerous times. People must come to the church and respect the church. You cannot just come and just walk out us. <laughs> Hear what Brother McLeod testify about my wife when he came, he came to mash up the church as a gambler and drunkard in the street. Yes, in the open air service, they came and the man said, my God, he leave their dirty red, red dirt because my wife sing and minister. God Almighty. Hallelujah. Listen. Individual within the church must harm. Yes. Those who are not flesh and blood are demons over whom Satan has control. They are very real. We face a powerful army. Let me stop it here. Thank God for the quietness. The devil wants to mash you up and turn you fool and turn your mind against God. It is more than stronghold. It is principalities. Say some of us not it can go right, left, or center, and we wonder. You try everything. He's not the lawyer, you know. Eh? He's not the immigration lawyer. Principalities and powers, man. I stand in here, I have to pray hard and fight against the forces of hell. My wife and myself, we have to join together, man, to pull down Satan because Satan don't like us. Satan is vicious. Against Leonard and Gloria, against you, Deacon, against Deacon Hibbert. That's what the devil tried to do some months ago to twist up your mouth. But under God, Shabamano Kotoria Satana Babakosa. I said when I passed the morning, when I came in, uh, uh, in the parking lot and see, I saw Deacon. Brother Gary, my driver said, that is not deacon. The last time we come deacon was not like that. And I remember when I was leaving, I said, deacon, do so and so. Get a olive oil. Pray over it and rub your face. And see deacon there now. The devil! After us! Ah, oh, God Almighty. Ah, oh. The devil will come in and take away your loved one. And want to turn your mind and, I mean, bring you back to where the Lord take you from. But be strong and be courageous. Because the battle is not yours. Woo! To, to 
tonight, everyone be seated. I'm coming home. I'm coming home with this. Is dear one today, tonight, in the sound and the reach of my voice. That need God to do something for you. Please stand. You're under attack. And you know that. But before I ask you to come, is there one tonight, an unsaved? Even one unsaved, you never come here to give your life to the Lord. But you have listened to this word tonight. Can you walk up? Even one unsaved in this crowd. You did not come to be a Christian. But you have listened to this word. Is there one in this crowd? An unsaved. Is a word dropping my spirit right now? Sister Rose, is a word dropping my spirit for you? And Rose, the Lord said to tell you, I'm saying it to you open. Don't be anxious for nothing. Because he got you. The Lord said to tell you that. Don't anxious. You give it to him. Walk away and leave. Because he got you. Thus said Almighty God. Tonight. It's more than this. Stronghold. You try everything, man. You do everything. Your hands are clean. Your thought, your mind are clean. But nothing going on and working on at your behalf. If you believe this word tonight. That stronghold is coming down in the first night of this convention. Can you walk up? Hallelujah. I love to me, but I love to rise, hallelujah, in the arms and be closer drawn.
up tonight. Purpose in your heart. That the, the strongholds that you are fighting against, it is down. It is in your power now as you walk up and surrender to him that it is come down. It is down. I don't want to know about the strongholds that holding you down. I don't want to know. I need not. It is you and your God. But as you walk up from where you are standing and sitting by faith, tell yourself, say, tonight, the 18th day of the fourth month of the year, 2024, 9.29 p.m. At 4444 White Plain Road. In the United Church of God. Can you lift your hands? If you want to lift two or one, have confidence in God now. And say, yes, Lord. I am walking away free because my stronghold has come down. In Jesus' name, receive it. Mm, I am delivered. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am delivered. Glory to his name. Come on now. I was born in the fire of sin. I am delivered. Yeah, praise the Lord. Come on now. I am delivered. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I am delivered. Yeah, come on. Glory to his name. Hey. For I was bound and chased in the fire. 
my God, my God, my God, my God. Bishop Gibbs wasn't there today when my sister and I were talking. And we get so much fight, so much vision, so much dreams that even when I'm driving today, all of a sudden the maintenance light for tire came on. I said, God, whatever is the tire, I'm going to church tonight. Tire or no tire. You don't understand. When you get a fight, there's victory ahead. And some of you push through some fight just to come tonight. Just to hear the word. It is more than this. What a powerful word. Go and send you home on time. Because tomorrow night is Friday night. And we want to enjoy more of this word. But I am led to sing the song, Pulling Down Strongholds. Some of we, you know, some of we have some strongholds that we need to pull down tonight. You hear me? Pulling down strongholds. Pulling down strongholds. tonight. We ask that I will cover each and every one of us under your blood. The enemy don't like when a message opens our eyes to certain things, but cover us under your blood tonight. And 
Lord, we ask that the will rest with us tonight as we go, go with us. Father, as we're about to worship with our offering tonight, bless each and every one. As they worship with their offering tonight, we give you thanks and we give you praise. In Jesus' precious name. And let the church say, let the church say, let the church shout, let the church shout, hallelujah. 